Now here we have a spirit of grace and supplication. Some translations translate it the spirit of mercy and prayer. So we see the Holy Spirit is the spirit of prayer. And when God promised a day, that a day would come when His Spirit would be poured out upon us, it was a promise that there would be a time of prayer. It would be for the purpose of prayer. Remember Joel's prophecy? Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And then the prophecy goes along and it, and it, it ends as Peter quotes it on the day of Pentecost. And whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So the Holy Spirit who inspires prophetic speech is also the Holy Spirit who inspires prayer. And so Zechariah, in prophesying about the spirit of prayer, is foreshadowing, he's introducing a truth which is plainly seen in the New Testament, that the Holy Spirit is the spirit who inspires prayer. John's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 13 through to 17. It's a long passage, let's read it. John 14, verses 13 through 17. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and shall be in you. And so we see, when Jesus is talking about the new prayer life that we're going to have, he talks about that in, in the same context as the coming of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is our helper. He's going to help us pray. pray. And it's clear from this co prayer context that he promises the disciples another helper. In the Greek it is alos parakletos. Those words are written for you in your study guide. Alos parakletos. Another helper. Another comforter. Now, the word parakletos has lots of different meanings, and it's basically one who is called alongside you to give you assistance. And it's particularly assistance in witness or proclamation. It's almost like an advocate who will speak on your behalf. And so the Holy Spirit who inspires us into prophetic speech, who inspires us into prophetic witness, who inspires us into prophetic proclamation, is also the Holy Spirit who inspires us into prophetic praying.